Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you a video that I hope will be helpful, especially if you are newer to Scentsy. I have gotten a lot of questions in email and other forms over the last couple months from people who are newer to the whole concept of Scentsy. So I have a lot of just basic things here. We're going to talk about the different styles of warmer that Scentsy offers, the different wattages of bulb, and just kind of get you a few ways to be more familiar and comfortable with our products. So first off, if you do not have a catalog, you can request an e-catalog from um, me or another consultant, or if you have a local consultant, you can ask them for a hard copy. And this right here changes twice a year. So we have a fall winter version and we have a spring summer version. And at the moment, because we just uh, changed over August 1st, we are in the fall winter 2022 Scentsy catalog. And it has all of your basic things about the different smells and the different warmers that we offer. You can get all the same information on the website, but it does have a different feel than sitting down and actually reading through a catalog either on your tablet or in person like this. So every year, Scentsy produces a certain number of brand new warmers every spring, summer, and fall, winter. So every time that we have a new catalog, there will be new things like these two right here, which are coming in the mail for me, and I'm so excited to show them to you and use them. And then they keep, obviously, quite a lot of the stock that they've had from previous seasons. So at the moment, for instance, the Flaunt Your Feathers, that's been around for several seasons in the catalogs, and people love that one. But uh, for example, this Birds of Paradise was new last spring, and that is one that I personally do have. So there are so many options, and so many different wattages, and so many different finishes that I'm sure for some people it's very, very overwhelming. So that's kind of what I wanted to hit on first today. What are the different wattages that Scentsy offers in their products and why? So for instance here, we have the lovely Amber Glow, which is quite popular. It's a very bright warmer, by the way. And that one, I am pretty sure, yes, is an Edison bulb. And a lot of people are like, what's an Edison bulb? I don't have a lot of those myself, so the one that I'm going to show you is retired. But an Edison bulb warmer, typically in the past, would have some sort of a sleeve, like this does. This is called the wicker, and it's retired. It will have a sleeve to trap heat. I love the seed glass that's on this. And then it will have this style of bulb, which is 40 watts, and it casts the most beautiful yellow glow. And you know, maybe what, five to seven years ago, these were just all the rage. The whole Edison bulb thing was everywhere with industrial style. So that's calmed down a little bit, but we do still continue to offer a good number of Edison bulb products. And I will light this thing up and show you the soft and beautiful glow. But this is probably the least popular style as far as how many we have in the catalog. I haven't actually counted, but if you're looking for an Edison bulb warmer, this is the beauty of it. See that lovely, lovely soft glow. I do have one of my new warmers coming, the Tiger Jasper, which I believe is an Edison bulb, and I'm so excited about that because that warmth is one of the things I love the most about Scentsy. So it is somewhat bright, but because the Edison bulb itself is softer than your 25 watt, it doesn't absolutely blind you. So this is a favorite of mine. I've had it for a long time and I will probably never get rid of it. So that is the first style. So let's say that you broke your Edison bulb. You need to order another one of those from Scentsy. Unfortunately, that is not something that is easy to just go out and replace so that it's appropriate for your warmer because wattage is a very important thing so you do not hurt your socket and then void your warranties. So you need to have the appropriate wattage or lower in your warmer. So if you wanted, you could put a 25 watt bulb in here. I wouldn't recommend it because I don't think that it's the proper distance between the bulb and the dish, but it could be done. All right, so then after that, we have our standard 25 watt warmers. And those can come in many different styles. You can get glass warmers, you can get uh, ceramic like this one. This is one of my favorite, just very standard warmers. Now the one behind me, which is retired, that is also just a standard 25 watt ceramic that is the stone leaf. It is beautiful. If you ever see it in a flash sale, please pick it up. It's one of the best performers ever made because it retains heat very well. But here is one that is current. This is the Salerno. 
So you're gonna see a nice bright bulb in there. The 25 watt bulbs are easy to find. Now I would prefer that you order a Sensi bulb just because that is specific to the warmer, but any 25 watt G lamp will do in a pinch. So here is one of those. And it's just, you know, your standard, typical 25 watt little roundy bulb warmer. And <clears throat> these do a great job melting your wax. They give you the maximum amount of light and very good throw. So that is a 25 watt warmer. This is what we have the most of. And this is the Salerno, if I didn't already mention that. Now, next we have the 20 watt warmers. And these, some people have a lot more trouble believing that these throw well enough. I don't have a lot of trouble with mine. I've heard not great things about this specific warmer I'm going to show you. Now, I had a problem with the finish on the first one of these that I ever bought, and since he replaced that, but I've had no problem with performance. Is it my biggest boomer, like it throws like a champ? No, but it works plenty well enough. And this one is current. This is called the Chard. And many of the 20 watt warmers, what you're looking for, let me turn this off. Yeah, there we go. What you're looking for with the 20 watt warmers is going to be a little bit more subtle glow usually not as much brightness as you have with your 25 watt and they're beautiful so you can see how much smaller that bulb is i will take it out and show it to you now this is a bulb like the 40 watt that you're only going to get from sensi you're not going to be able to just run out and uh, get this so that is one of the few downsides to getting the more specialized warmer uh, bulb style because you really do need to have a stash so that if you break one or it burns out you're not disappointed now if you do happen to be just an absolute bulb breaker and you are done replacing bulbs period there is something called an element warmer that we offer so there are a couple of element warmers our glimmer and glow and our polar panorama that do offer light but it's not going to be coming from a bulb that has that thin filament that's going to be breakable most of our element warmers though are just a hot plate with some sort of a really cute decorative design that isn't going to give you any light so how do you know that this style is on well it has this cute little uh, red mark in the back here so let me turn this on this one's the aloe vera warmer and it is one of my personal favorite element warmers i got this this spring and uh, this and my desert bloom which is in my bedroom absolutely fantastic so here you go and i'll turn this off again you can see that little dot tells you whether it's on or it isn't so and element warmers the perk for me is that they release scent more slowly than our bulb warmers and they tend to allow that scent to just be prolonged in a room and crankier smells sometimes things that i have a hard time getting to perform you kind of have to baby them this type of warmer i really think does a better job taking care of those and maximizing the scent that you will get out of it at a lower level so then the last style of warmer that we have is the mini warmer and i love mini warmers now you can get a tabletop base for your mini warmer if you are ordering one make sure that you get the proper material so there are element warmers no mini warmers that are made out of ceramic which is what i have to show you today this one matches the salerno that i showed you earlier so it's like the mama and the baby there are some of these in the catalog and i think they're just adorable and the salerno is one of our best bargains as far as price and style i believe that one's 40. we also have one called the alabaster that i love that that one's only 30 and that has a baby also i just don't own that so i wanted to show you the one where i had a mama and a baby so these you just plug into the wall somewhere and they're beautiful very simple you can put them in the kitchen you can put them by a baseboard my dogs are actually quite good most of the time they don't bump into anything so i'm still careful where i put them if i put them down low but i have them all over the house so this is really just a one cube warmer all of the others i wanted to show you how the dish works four cubes typically you can see on the mark on the bottom of most of our dishes now older units you're gonna have something like this it's not going to tell you how many uh cubes i only use two in a cup like this i really don't like these 
if you've watched my channel, you've heard the stories. But anyway, in a mini warmer, you can take this off and then buy a base. It's like a little white tabletop base that screws on, but just make sure that if you get a glass mini, that you get a glass tabletop base. If you get a ceramic mini like this one, you're looking for the ceramic because there is a difference in the way that they screw on. The ones that are glass just have threads, so it screws on in a circle. This one toggles with a pair of little tabs. So that is everything when it comes to actual warmers. So we offer the Edison at 40 watts. We offer a lot of 25 watt uh, warmers. We offer many 20 watt warmers and then the 15 watt warmers. And we do currently have one 15 watt full size, which is unusual, but it's beautiful. And people keep saying that it's performing just fine. And that is our unbelievable, which is right here. And I have seen this in person. One of my friends has it. It is gorgeous. And I've heard that it still melts the wax pretty well. So that I think was done because they wanted the soft shimmeriness of that sort of reflective, it's almost like a silvery purple uh, leaf pattern. Absolutely gorgeous. And it does well enough that there haven't been any complaints with the very low wattage at 15 watts. So what does it look like if I'm going to buy the bulbs from Scentsy? So I have a trio here. You can get a three pack or you can just get one. Uh, you go on the website, look under the warmers and then you'll see bulbs and accessories. So this is a three pack. I don't remember exactly how much it is. Let me see if I can find it in here to get this so that you're always prepared so that if you blow a bulb, you're not upset. I'm probably not going to find it in here quick enough, but you can check out all the prices on the website. They're pretty reasonable. And then if you have a 20 watt warmer, it's very important that you have some extra bulbs. So here is a single 20. You can also buy a three pack just like you can with the 25. 15 watts, same thing. Now 15 watt bulbs are really easy to come by at the regular store. So, you know, I'm not gonna ask you to specifically get a Sensi bulb. And then the 40 watt Edisons, you need to have one of those on hand uh, so that you don't run out because you're not gonna get that at the local hardware store either. So after we talk about the basics with warmers, there are also just a few things with wax. I mean, the idea of a basic Sensi bar. I think everybody has got this figured out, but a Sensi bar is eight cubes of wax. You can get just one bar. You can get a bundle and save that's in the specials tab where you can get six of them and you get one for free. You can get into something called Sensi Club, which is a whole other video, but that is where you can buy bricks. You do have to have a subscription for Sensi Club to be able to access these. And this is five and a half, almost six bars. And the price is fantastic. These guys, I think, are $24 or $24 almost 25 um, in Scentsy Club. They are only a very specific grouping of scents though. I would call them our classics. They don't do that, but I always just say it's our classic scents. A lot of times it's off season retirees like this one, which is Squeeze the Day that you can't actually get in the catalog right now, but they've had it for forever and hopefully they will at least keep it in the club for people. So then your Scentsy bar, if you're going to use this, mm, red, white, and berry pie, so good in your warmer, okay? You're going to light her up and you're gonna put a couple cubes in the dish. Personally, I almost never use more than just two cubes. So yeah, break it off. And then these have the cutest little indents on the bottom. You can see our different categories. That's woods and fresh right there. You plunk it in your dish, you light up your warmer and you're good to go. So then, after you have done your warming, and typically, especially a bakery smell like this, you know, one full day, sometimes to a lot of spice scents or scents that have a lot of wood in the notes, you might be able to make those go three days. I don't recommend throwing fresh cubes on top of old wax unless you're trying to uh, tame something that you don't like because that just dilutes the scent. The best thing is just to let it cool completely and then I should have gotten my trusty butter knife out here, but you're gonna take a butter knife, you're gonna go in at an angle, and you're gonna pull that little uh, wax thing right out. And it's so easy. Or you can use, when the wax is still warm, a product which I don't push because it's expensive. It's like $10 for a package of these things right now. But you can use a cotton cleanup. So you would do that. I can show this to you here. You would take your hot wax and you're just going to put 
this in here and it's going to pull up all of that wax. Okay. And that will do several different dishes. I got, oh truth stop, I got these in a flash sale <clears throat> because I don't typically use them because I just do the cheapskate method where you pop out the cold wax. So that is pretty much everything I can think of when it comes to Scentsy bars, Scentsy bricks, and all of the warmers. So again, look at the website carefully, familiarize yourself with the different products. We offer cleaning products, we offer fresheners, we offer all sorts of things that I don't typically talk about. We have wonderful car bars, which you can bundle and save those just like your bars. Uh, this is an old retired scent, but this is a scent pack, which goes into our buddies, or you can throw that in the car, or you can put it in your coat closet because it's got a little hanger on it. They last for forever. There are so many good things with Scentsy. I hope that this has been helpful. Also, when it comes to consultant etiquette, if you are already working with someone, please stay with them. But if you are just brand new to Scentsy and you need help, please feel free to uh, email me. You can find that on my website or you, know, you can ask questions in the comments down below. Again, I am Liz Quinn and my website is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, which should be on the end screen of this video. And, um, Sensi is a wonderful world that I hope that you get enthusiastic about. I hope that this was helpful and informative. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.